gotta get up You gotta get up and make a move Cause the world will never And she walks into the room looking so scared Sweaty, crying and everything And you as the mom you are so afraid And you're like what's going on And then she tells you mommy I'm seeing blood on my pants I don't know what's going on That is a typical case of a child who wasn't informed about menstruation before time. Hello, healthy moms. Good day, wherever you are. It's always a pleasure speaking with you ladies. I am Larissa Livella and welcome to Inyango, the place which teaches you simple ways to become a healthy mom. Today, we are going to be talking about menstruation. That is menstrual hygiene explained using the five piece technique. So please stay tuned. If you're new here, please don't forget to like our page. We also have a YouTube channel. Please go there and search for Inyango and do like and subscribe and please share because if Inyango has been of help to you, you can obviously be of help to another mother. So let's go right into the topic. Now, let's talk about the menstrual cycle first. The menstrual cycle can last from 21 to 35 days and the menstruation period in itself can last from two days to two weeks. So now, in counting the menstrual cycle, you have to start from the first day of your period. That is the first day which you see the blood on your panty. Okay, now why do women menstruate? Our system as women are made in a way that when we get to maturity, our body is fit to now carry a baby. But when we do not get a baby or when we do not carry a baby, our system is supposed to flush out the blood every single month. There are women who don't see it every single month, but I am not here to say that is not normal or it is normal. I would like to put a little disclaimer here. I'm not a doctor or a nurse and everything I say here are from my own research and my own experiences as a mother who reads. So, menstruation occurs because during your 21 or 35 days of your menstrual cycle, your body, which is your uterus, including your fallopian tubes and the eggs, your uterus prepares itself for a baby within the period of 21 to 30, 35 days. So when it prepares itself, it thickens the walls, the walls of your uterus, as you can see, it thickens the walls and prepares itself for a baby because if a baby has to come, then the environment has to be safe enough, full of nutrients for the baby. But now when fertilization does not occur, the Thickened parts of the walls of the uterus have to shade itself back and remove all that preparation so that your body starts getting ready for the next month or for the baby who is supposed to come. So during that period, it shades those thickened walls, including the egg which has not been fertilized, and it comes down all as blood. That is why we see blood every single month. I hope you can explain this to your girl child so they don't come running to you when they start seeing your period because these days, girls start seeing their periods as early as, as eight years old. So we have to try as much as possible to let them know before that time. So now, let's explain menstrual hygiene using the five Ps. The first thing on the five Ps is the product. The product could be your pad, the menstrual cup, the tampon, some people use toilet tissue and even use pieces of cloth, but most times people go for a piece of white towel. Now, the second thing is your palm, which is your hands. That's the second P, palm, which is your hands. The hands you use to put in your product or remove your product. The third thing is the pain. That is the pain you feel during your menstruation period which could be either severe or mild, depending on your own system. The fourth thing will be paper. Paper, which stands for what you wrap your product, your used product inside before disposing on, of it. Because your menstruation is something which is secret. So you have to try to wrap it up very well before disposing of, of it. The fifth thing is the period between your period. That is the period between your menstruation of maybe this month to your menstruation of the next month. So for today, that is all I'm going to talk about here. And on the YouTube video, which I'm going to upload and send the link here, I'm going to explain these things detailly so that you can really understand and menstrual hygiene using the five piece technique. Thank you all mothers for being here today. And I hope you learned something. Let's build healthy moms with healthy homes. Have a beautiful day.